Hello, this is Kathleen I'll call it. Welcome to my channel. Today I want to work on some Easter projects that I had in mind. This is from, I believe, um, Pixie Dust Files. And I thought they were just really adorable. I This is the size they come. I did not make them bigger in any way. So aren't they cute? Seriously. <laughs> this one... I did cut them out, and then this one I did back it onto some, uh, this is avocado dyed paper. This kit has a lot of different components. Uh, I'm going to show you real quick, like all these different cute things. I'm not sure if I'm going to get to all of those cute items, but I'm going to start with this. My mind, I was thinking about a couple of different things. I thought bag toppers, card toppers, e um, Easter cards. Um, and I also thought for a journal, I'm going to show you the idea I had for a journal. Let's work with this guy right here, our girl, I should say. I had this really beautiful piece of ribbon. And I thought, gosh, isn't that cute? And I started thinking, wouldn't it be cute if this was to become something you could layer into a journal? And then I had this really pretty, I don't know if you can see, it has a pink edge really pretty i was thinking look how cute this would be if you were just to kind of something super simple and then just layer isn't that cute maybe shorten that loop a little bit but i like the idea of having this delicate pink ribbon behind it let's see cute huh and my idea was to put a big paper clip right here or you could uh, use a bobby pin so I'm gonna go ahead and do that um, hold on let me get my glue which I'm using the fabric tech but this Wait a minute. loop it there and since this is so thin look it's going right through it isn't that cute? Let me see one second. I think I like the idea of this being more centered, I think. So that you can see both of these loops. Let me see. Let me see how I want this. So I kind of want it looking like that. I think that is really cute. And this is one of the reasons I wanted to back this onto um, colored paper. So that way, if you can see it on the other side, it's not so homely as just white. And I think I want to put her head right about there. That cute. Oh my gosh. I love these, these digitals. They're so vibrant the colors and the images are so sweet I'm like oh my gosh I really like a lot of her digital kits um, especially the paper doll ones okay so let me trim this let's trim that down here just a, a tad so we get a little bit of an angle you cute and with this, I think I'm going to I'm going to go ahead and put a little bit a layer of glue here. So if you want to put a paper clip through it to put it anchor it to the edge of a page, you could. Or if you want to, um, you could always sew it if you didn't want to just glue it. My sewing machine's kind of far away, not far away, but. I wouldn't be able to really bring it into the camera. Okay. What I also thought was really cute, I did pull some, just grab some things, um, so you guys can see. I did have this one thing in mind. That's not in there. Box of trim here. I'm just gonna put it there for now. 
I had a little dangle trim I wanted to use. Aha, here it is. This is a trim I thought would be really cute for this. Isn't that cute? Let me just get this piece right here taken care of. I thought this would be really cute. Let's just cut the piece off. Okay. And I want to put a little bead of glue. Maybe it's time to get my other glue out so I don't have to keep squeezing the bottle so much. Oy. How are you guys doing? How's everybody doing today? Easter is right upon us. Can you guys believe it? My gosh, I can't believe it. <laughs> I feel like we just had the new year and bam, it's already going to be Easter. Okay. You know, I bought these little mini um, silicone things that you could push down on. Who knows where I put it? It's really a disappointment because I could really use that probably worth just buying a whole new set at this point okay that cute all right if I had I could always do something like this to pin it on to something right here isn't that cute or let me see what else I got in my Little stash of treasures. So the thing about this piece is that it's so springy. So I really wanted to do spring on it. Just giving you an example, I do have some really big paper clips, but kind of if you were to put a paper clip in the back, see? And you could put it onto a page. Let me grab a page. Wouldn't that be cute on a journal? Especially a long, tall, skinny journal. That would be really cute. I also think you could put something here, but I really like that this would show because look how pretty that is, you guys. Isn't that gorgeous? Let me see if I can pull it out now. You know, if you did have something like this and you didn't, and it says beautiful, but that's not really what I'd like. You could always put something really cute on it. Like one of these on there, or you could grab one of the flowers and put it on there. Wouldn't that be adorable? And of course, I'm always trying not to use these, but just throwing it out there. Wouldn't that be cute to also put something like that? Let me move this out of the way. That'd be cute. Just really put some color on there. Maybe even one in the center or three. That's really cute. This is just so adorable. I really like the idea of color being there, but I don't know about that. I have this really pretty pink satin ribbon. What do you guys think? The satin ribbon right there. I like it. So if I was to cut this and move that. For now, I'm just gonna cut it there. I think I'll go ahead and put, put it right here. It's kind of, um, I don't want to block that little lace band. Okay. I love that pink. Oh, that so pretty. It's kind of almost like a raspberry pink. All right. Oops, that kind of really matches that to me. And let's see. I might, let me see what this color pink would be like. I have other things too. 
Look at this, isn't that pretty? What do you guys think? Just a little piece maybe? Just one little piece of one flower? I'm not sure about that one. But I was thinking this. Just like one little flower there. Let's cut that out and see what it looks like. All right. That's cute, huh? I like that. So let's go ahead and put that on there. Yeah. I think this would be really cute on a gift bag. That'd be cute. Definitely cute on a journal. Okay. So I'm going to move that over here. The other one I want to work on is, let me see where I put the girls. Okay. I thought this was cute. Either this one or this one. Look how cute that is. I think this one. I'm going to go ahead and rip this. precious this will be. Isn't that cute? Okay. And I have this here. See how the chick matches with the yellow? I think that it's really adorable. I love this girl. How I cut it out, I did leave a little border of white because I thought I might be backing it with some pretty vibrant things and would need that. This could be a part of a page on a journal. I think that would be really cute. Or it can be part of, um, if you were to fold this paper over, you could turn this into a, a topper for a bag like a candy bag. I did those last year. I made candy bags. I bought candies to do it again this year. I might do that maybe next week. I'm not sure if I have time. Um, but I really like this color with this. I think that is so adorable. Put her on. Right? Let's just get her on there. Okay. That is just too cute. <laughs> so cute. I love it. I did see the word celebrate in here. I think I saw celebrate. Free bunny rides. That would be great. That would have been great for this, wouldn't it? Look at free bunny rides. I could still do that. That is really cute. That's just too cute. Okay. <laughs> Look at how cute that is, you guys. Wait, let me move it up a little bit. I love the ability to move things over with um, with a fabric tack. It doesn't hold it down so quickly like this art glitter glue. Man, as soon as you put that stuff down, you're not moving it. Look at it, you guys. Isn't that cute? I want to show you. Isn't that cute? I love that. That is really sweet, simple, cute. Okay, let's work on this one still. I had a piece of really pretty um, lace. Was it this one? I think it was. Let me see. Okay, look at No, that's not going to work for that one. Let me find a piece of trim or something that would be pretty there. Ooh, look how pretty this white, how huh? pristine that white is. That's cute right there. What do you guys think? 
Isn't that really cute? I really like that. Let me cut that. Let's get that right in the center there. I know it's a little bit big. That is so cute. Glue down here. Okay. Okay, it's definitely this way. Just pull this down so I can see a little bit. My cute. I love that. So simple. So adorable. These images just, you don't even need to do much with them, honestly. They're just so cute on their own. And then let's see what some other, that waffle print could be cute right there. Let's see what else. Ooh, this is pretty. Oops, not big enough. Too bad. That would have been really pretty. Let's see what else I got. That's too thick. Not pink enough. That overcovers everything up. Mm, let's see what else I got. Let me see what else I have. Let me pull out this little thing here. What do you guys think of some daisies? Hold on. Yeah. Those are pretty cute, huh? I like that. But I also like the idea of a daisy in her hair. Let me cut one. Let's cut one. Shall we? See which side's which. Well, yeah. I don't think it really matters, honestly. Okay, I'm just put on this side. More glob glue. That is really cute. You know, I thought this would be really cute as a hanging. If if you were to cut like this, that cute. You know, you could also. Just tie it to the back so you're not seeing poking any holes in that beautiful lace. That's really cute. But I think that's not pink enough for that. Let me see. There's this really pretty fine pink right here. Maybe with this combined could be real cute. Let's see. Maybe if we had it like wrapped up. Oh my goodness. That is too cute. I am going to do that guys. That is adorable, right? Let me just get some glue and let me glue it on here. Ah, look at a bit glue, glue, glooby. <laughs> That's going to be too much. That's okay. And <laughs> there's always a way to solve problems, right? Like, let's get rid of some of this glue. And we'll just put it over here on the side. What do you guys think about um, this new background I have? I'm wondering if you guys like it. I'm hoping that it's easier to see the projects. Um, it's actually just contact paper uh, but I thought it was so pretty I wanted to use it for a background I was trying to find something that was light and airy looking that you guys could see the background a little bit better look at so could you see that as a door hanging like on a bedroom door or you could hang it on the wall or if you have a tree that you want to decorate, that is really cute. And some dangling lace right here would be perfect. I wonder how this pink would look. Right here. That's cute. I'm going to go for it. Let me just straighten this piece out. I 
Okay. Let's put that right there. Right there. Let's get a little bit through here. Um, okay. That is cute. You know what would be really pretty right here? Is a piece of velvet. Wouldn't that be pretty? That's too bright. Wrong color. I think velvet would be really lovely right there. Let me see what this would look like here. That's cute too, isn't it? That's one of the things I love is I think everything looks good and then I start layering and then I can't stop layering because then I realize how much fuller it looks layered. That sweet. Watch. Look at. Let me see if it's crooked or not. Okay. Love it. Love it. Now, I would probably back this on to a thicker piece of paper, which, hold that thought. No, I love this paper. Mm, let's see. Look at that. Gorgeous or what? So, I think I'm going to use this. Watch. Let's flip this over. Backwards. No, that's right. Okay. Let me get the stuff out of the way so we can concentrate. So I am going to cut some paper right here. I bring it down this way. And let me get a pen. Let's see where, where does it end? Okay, right here. And let me get my paper trimmer. I know you guys rarely see a paper trimmer come out from, from me. <laughs> I know, I know. <laughs> I almost never use a paper trimmer. <laughs> I, I kind of like, feel like I just hate spending time figuring out paper trimming. Okay. And I got that done. Accomplished. Mission accomplished. Let's see. How far do I want it to go down? I want this place to be free. I don't want it to be hindered. So I'm thinking, hold on. Let's put it to here. All right? Let's cut that off. All right. And I can use that. I'm not throwing that away. I can. Use, that's what I. My last video. This is the paper I used, and all those little pieces of paper. That's what I used. Okay. I have a big Louis Goop from here because I had it lying down. I'm just gonna use that. I really need to get a new bottle, guys. I'm just trying to think what where on earth I put my bottles of glue. My dog got a hold of one the other day. I was not a happy girl. Not a happy girl, especially with brand new glue bottle. <laughs> I was like, why, why? Okay, let's just put a little glue here in the corners. And we can always squish in more glue if we need it, right? Okay. And this way, it will also hold that fabric in place, right? So it doesn't come apart. Cute, huh? I love that. Door 
adorable. Cute picture hanging. That'd be nice to be a gift for somebody, wouldn't it? To make a really pretty door hanger. And one more, at least one more, huh? Okay, I have those two. Pretty paper. I love this blue. Isn't that cute? You could really stand out with that blue, doesn't she? Wouldn't that be a sweet Easter card? Super simple. What I had also thought, I really have liked this. This is a piece of an old tablecloth, I believe. And I've been slowly using it. And I think I'm down to just enough now. Okay. Look at I found this bag. I know it's brown. But I'm okay with that because I can simply put this paper. Okay, this is the top of the bag. Let's let me cut this. I'm gonna cut this blue piece out. That's okay, I guess. Of course, you know, I don't like perfection, so it's all good. If it's crooked, it's all good. I'm going to cut this here. Okay, let's move that out of the way. And I know it's stained, so maybe I'll put it this way in case someone doesn't. Oh, it's stained all the way through. I'm putting it back this way then. Okay, let's just get some glue all over. All right. Okay. Little girl, what did I do with her image? Up. Oh. Let's just put some glue down on her. If I really would have thought about it, because this is thicker right here, I would totally put some pop-up to bring this up a little bit, which I still could. Let me get some paper. So if I was just to cut, um, some paper, just to elevate it up a little bit. I would do this. Just to give it some. And I would put it right in here. So that way. Right. Watch. Just to give a little bit of dimension. Isn't that cute? See, now this popping it up, it equals this. I love that. This is a little too perfect. I like how it's all kind of crazy there. I wonder if I can kind of make it crazy. Not crazy, but you know. <laughs> Oh, not so even, Stephen. <laughs> I don't like even Stephen. And you're everybody's like, yes, we know already. I wanted to see what this would be like. The satin. I have to say I like the satin. Let's just try this. Cute, huh? Fidget with it to make it the right 
size that you want. What do you guys think? I think it's cute. I wonder if I can get rid of some of this brown, but I guess it doesn't really matter because you're gonna see brown in the center, which is really okay because that bag is that color. Look how pretty that is even on the other side. Okay. Let's make, try to make that even. Isn't that cute, you guys? You could put little things in there. Let's pretend. I'm going to do a pretend. You could put candy sticks, lollipops. I don't know what. But wouldn't that be adorable to receive that? I would love that. I think that would be really cute. Okay. All right. So I think, did I do all the images? I think I have one image left, maybe. Oh yeah, I have this little girl. She's adorable, isn't she? Let's see what we can do with that. She's cute. Okay, I need to make a bag topper because I love to make bag toppers. I wanna use that same beautiful paper that I absolutely adore. This is gonna be a really big bag topper, right? When I make my back toppers, I just fold over a piece of paper and I it's going to it doesn't have to be all on the paper. So I'm just gonna use this amount right here. And I'm gonna use a big bag. I'm just gonna cut this guys. I'm not too worried about it this because it's going to be a topper for a baggie. Oh my gosh, that is cute. Let me, um, where's my bone folder? Let's see if I can find it. Here we go. I'm just going to They're cute. All right, what do I want to do? I want to put that. It'd be really pretty. What I thought of in my mind was kind of scrunching this up and making that the backdrop of it. Let's try it. Let's see how that works, right? I'll like that sideways so that won't be so hard to and then I'm just going to crunch it or gather it I guess is a better way <laughs> to say it besides crunch okay it's kind of thinner than the fabric I normally use but I think it's just so pretty I wanted to use this okay Okay, I think that might be crunched a good level. Isn't that cute? That is really cute. Okay, I like it. Let's cut this. Uh-oh, my scissors might be getting dull. Let me see some of these other tags that I got. Aren't they just, just so cute? I don't think anything says just Happy Easter. Celebrate. So that it holds it down. Let's see. Okay, keep that down. Glue that. Okay. 
Okay, let's just put some on here. Cute, simple, simple, but adorable, right? That is so cute. Watch, I'm gonna get this bag, obviously. But look how cute, if this bag was a little smaller, you kind of get the idea, I would staple it. You might even lift the head and staple there and staple here. But wouldn't that be cute, filled up with candies? Um, I got a bunch of candies, but I didn't bring them to the table because I didn't know I was going to do this. <laughs> but isn't that sweet? You guys get the idea of what I'm talking about? How cute that would be? Right? Okay. All right, you guys. I didn't get time to do all these really cute ones. I might try to do another video. I don't know if I'll have time. Um, it seems like time's just running out on me. And... Um, have a lot going on in my life right now and so it's just a little bit harder to craft right now but I'm trying to be faithful at it I hope you guys like this bag let me know what you think it's probably better than what it's been but you might not like it so here are the things I made today and the little door hanger I hope that you guys can see that let me see if it's in view I think it is let me move this out of the way Let's clear some of this mess up so you guys can get a good view, right? Okay. Isn't that cute? I love them. I love them all. I think this is so cute. It's so sweet, so simple, and they're all so easy to do. So if you're busy and having a hectic day or a hectic week, this would be something you could do really simple and fast and fun. All right, you guys, thank you for joining me, and thank you for subscribing, and I appreciate all of your guys' comments and your thumbs up. It really means a lot to me. Keeps me going, I guess you could say. All right, guys. Take care. Be blessed. Have a wonderful week. Bye-bye.